Today is December 11, 2021, and we're here with live sewing chat. Tonight we're going to be working on finishing up our African fabric quilt that we used the Scooch Over 2 by Maple Island Quilts Quilt Pattern. Let's see. I forgot to pull it up, but this is the pattern that we're working on. And I have, I'm making the queen size version of this quilt. So let me pull you all up on my cell phone. I guess I can leave that out. I'll probably be showing that <laughs> again. So let's see, volume down. <laughs> Gotta remember all these phone controls. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So I thought that I was going to come in here and do a lot more sewing than what I actually did do, but I did not. So I don't know if I'm going to actually finish it tonight on the live, but I'll be sewing my blocks into rows at this point. So we've got another minute. We'll be waiting for people to come into the room while I get my pieces. So, this should not even be over here. This is the stuff that I showed you all last week. Well, we don't want those, do we? Okay. So, I've got my rolls pinned. Hoping everything works out well. Because <laughs> I did not lay this quilt top out. I just made a little grid and just put numbers in them gave each fabric a number and then i just started working with it so first off let's see who's in the chat room tonight we've got vivian Cavi saying hi t and everyone nancy gus saying hi everyone jennifer mazard saying hi friends c rack says good evening t quilters in my sewing room make me a hexi quilt uh, Maxi Doodle says, hi, everyone. Hi, Miss T. Betsy says, hello, Miss T and all T quilters. Angela Stringer says, good evening, T and T folk. Ella Odom, good evening, Miss T and everyone. Ellen Campbell says, hi, T quilts and all sewing friends. Kim Burris is here saying, hello, T and everyone. June Hansen, hi, T and everyone. Darlene Crosby, hello, T and quilter friends. Cassandra Allen says hello to everyone. Hi, Cassandra. Welcome to the channel. I haven't seen you chat before, so I appreciate you popping something in the comment box. <laughs> Slowing Down Joe says hello, T and everyone. Diane57 says hi, T. Kim Burr says hi to everyone joining the chat. Debbie's here saying hi, T and everyone. Alvita says good evening, Miss T and everyone. And Diane saying good evening to everyone. Let's see. Trying to get where people are talking to me. Darcy Savelli says, hi, T and everyone. Murray Lee Blackwell says, hello, everyone. My first time using, turning, tuning in in a long time. Move from Indiana to Texas. Oh, my gosh. That's a big move. So congratulations on your move. Hopefully everything is going well. And hopefully you've got a sewing studio someplace to sew. Um. Darcy says, give T a thumbs up, everyone. Thank you, Darcy. Quote Gals here says, hi, T and everyone, from warm and rainy to windy and chilly, Maryland. <laughs> Vicki Lemire saying hello. And let's see. Let's see. Els Chime says hello and blessings to everyone. Welcome back. Haven't seen you come in in a while. Beverly Aiken says hello, T and T quilters. Um, I guess I miss Benita Nance coming in, huh? While I was scrolling. I don't know. I didn't see that. 
Uh, maybe I'm not getting all the chat comments. I don't know. <laughs> um, Lynette Williams says, almost missed it. Thumbs up. Thank you, Lynette. Deborah Holloway says, good evening, TNT Quilters. I am making rag quilts for my niece and nephews. That's pretty cool. French Seam says, hello to T and all of the T Quilters. <laughs> Hold on, trying to make sure I get everyone. Ann Staples is here saying hello, waving to everyone. Hi, Ann, welcome to. Joe Carmel Perkins says hi to everyone. What are you making tonight? Finishing up last week's project. Let's see. Uh, Tiffany Quilting Life is here. Saying, hey, Mrs. T and friends. Hey, Tiffany, how are you? <laughs> um, yeah. Deborah Quilts is here saying, hello, T and fellow quilters. Had a good day today hosting my quilt group. Yeah, that's what I did today. I actually posted pictures in the Facebook group. We had a good time. Um, we kind of had our Christmas uh, gift exchange. We trying not to do too much because we know we all got too much. <laughs> but it's just nice to get a little something token gift uh, from folk, and that's pretty cool. I was going to show some of that tonight, but I got so much stuff in here, and I got I want to work on this project. And it'll, if I start showing you stuff, then it's going to take me a long time. So what I think I'm going to do... Uh, I was talking to Deborah, I, and she said that Christmas is on a Friday because, you know, I haven't paid attention. So maybe what I'll do is on Christmas Day, I just may come and do all the stuff that I did. Also show the quilt that Kevin made me for those that aren't watching the Four Star General Sew Along with Kevin and I. I'll make sure you all see the quilt that Kevin made for me. I'll also show you anything that I uh, receive. And most of my gifts are going to be the ones that I got from the weekend. Because during COVID especially, I haven't really been into like even purchasing gifts for people and or receiving gifts from people. So it's going to be like the bare minimums. And then I have been ordering some stuff. I, ha I went ahead and ordered a second order of African fabrics. They should be coming in soon. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a haul on them by themselves. So what I might do is save that for a Christmas video as well. So I just might save stuff that I'm ordering for myself or ordering for my business. And then show you all of that stuff maybe in one video on Christmas Day. For those that don't have anywhere to go home alone, it'll just be there for you. You don't have to tune in. Um, but it'll be there for you to watch if you get some time on Christmas Day. Everybody doesn't have a big family to go to. Uh, I will. Um, well... I'm hoping I can do that on Christmas Day. Let me back up because my daughter is talking about hosting Christmas since I normally have it at my house. I'm not having it at my house. So now I'm feeling like I don't have anything to do. But my daughter is actually hosting Christmas. So at some point, I'll come live. I may not be able to do that on Christmas Day. I may have to wait until Saturday night anyway. But we'll see. But I will come live on Christmas and uh, show you what I'm up to or either do that haul. So we'll see. But I'm going to save everything and put it in one video, I think. Let's see. I'm up here talking and I'm like, I'm not hosting it, but that doesn't mean I don't have to help. Because if my daughter is hosting Christmas, that means that I'm hosting Christmas at her house. That means I'm doing all the cooking. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tiffany says I'm very worn out. Tea from three days of yard sales and garage cleaning, but it's done and I have a clean garage now. Now, that's awesome. It is a lot of work, though. Um, let me make sure I didn't miss anybody else coming in. I had Deborah Quilts. And so glad to be back from Else Time says, I used African fabrics to make an African sister's quilt using the African queen block pattern. Currently using the fabric to make Ohio stars. That's pretty cool. Melissa LePage says, oh no, what time is it? 
I'm missing my show. <laughs> you might be over there shopping. <laughs> over there at So Yeah. <laughs> Lynette says, I'm at work while my niece is at my house baking tea cakes. That's pretty cool. She says, can't wait to get off. Now, that's awesome. Go home to a house smelling really good. <laughs> Bet she says, Christmas is on a Saturday. Oh, Christmas is on a Saturday. Then that's even better. <laughs> She said Christmas is a Saturday. Let me, I don't look at my calendars. I keep meaning to bring another phone in here so I can like scroll on one phone and not have to get out of the chat on this one. But I keep forgetting that part. Christmas is on a Saturday. Okay. So yeah. So we'll, um, I'll, I'll definitely do all the Christmas stuff on Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and do a live Christmas night. And I know the normal people that are here are not going to be here, and that's fine, but the video will be here for you. Now I'm all out the chat. Thank you, Betsy. <laughs> um, and thank you, Jennifer, was also letting me know. Dorsha says, my nephew is hosting Christmas this year. So I'm hoping that by the time 8 p.m. come, I'm hoping that I can be back home. <laughs> uh, Leetta Bryant here says, hi, TNT Quilters. Ella, oh, and Ella was telling me that Christmas is on a Saturday, too. So thank you, guys. Uh, anyone else repeating, I've gone out and back in, and I have never had this. I don't know what that's about. She says, I'm repeating. I was... Melissa says she wasn't shopping. She was making tuna salad and giving the dog fresh water. Happened to look at the stove and saw the time. Okay. All right. So I think we are there. So I have blocks here. I just took a pen out. Um, Y'all know I didn't number these rows, right? I think I'm on row number four here. Let's see. One, two. Three, four, row four, fabric number four. That's correct. <laughs> I'm on row number four. I sold, I can't remember if I sold any of this stuff into rows before or after I came back. I think I may have sold rows one through three, so I'd have some rows to show you all. <laughs> so this should be six. I just got a piece of paper with numbers on it hanging off of here. Okay. <laughs> That's how we rolling now. <laughs> it's um five blocks in a row so it's not um uh, that big i made uh oh my um my machine came unthreaded i touched the um thread when i should not have it was sitting up in the thread cutter And I don't even know why I put it up there anyway, because I'm going to still have to trim the doggy. I mean, the thread. So what's the point? But anyway, <laughs> we're going to try to sew some of this together. I had a wonderful day today. As uh, Deborah said, we met at her house today, my small group. And this row do have... I changed this around, but apparently I didn't change it on my, um, this is number seven. I didn't change it on my paper. I did change a number around. I put two black blocks in one row, but that's okay. You know, when you don't, you only have nine fabrics, that happens. <laughs> so... All right, we're going to cut this first one off so I can put this third block on it. And I guess I can do some temporary pressing while it's in this state <laughs> instead of waiting till I get the whole row done. And I really want to just press on the desk because it's hard, not my iron surface. Because I won't be doing any ironing on these long pieces. 
doing a live. It's just easier for me to take them to my big board. This piece here, small corner down. I made, um, let's see, nine times, I made 45 blocks, but I only needed 40 for this, so. Deborah made us homemade bread with uh, it's not raisins, it's craisins. We had craisins in it. <laughs> it was really good. So I'm just going to use a square so that I'm not going to confuse myself because Diane57 is not going to see me rip tonight. Okay, Diane? <laughs> Famous last words. Um... And the bread is really good. She uses a bread machine. And I have a bread machine. I've used it. I just stopped using it all of a sudden. And don't know why. But I do want to go back to making my own bread. So. This is number three. I just want to press this seam. It's going to be a miracle. If I don't uh, lose my. Um, tools today. Because I'm just tossing them on the desk anywhere. And these pieces are long. So my screen is gone already. Hold on. Oh, somebody said I can make pillows with the others. That or I might end up putting it on the back. I'm not sure yet. Or pillowcases. Sharon Lewis says, good evening, T and Quilters from Washington, D.C. Hi, Sharon. How many rows is this? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight rows, though. I don't know yet. So I'll figure that part out when I get to the end. The fabrics are so pretty. I do hate to put them on the back. Um, I went back in because people were asking me about those African fabrics with the eyes. And, of course, they didn't have that fabric anymore. So, And I kind of figured when I went back and looked, I remember when I was looking before that I it was just stuff was sold out before I even put it on the website. Because I was like, oh, I like that. Let me go back and order some more of that. And it was already sold out. So... That's how things are. And Tiffany's going to have to go look at TV. Okay, Tiffany. Sorry you're having connection issues. Claudette Bettis is here saying hello, T and everyone. <laughs> Sharon Lewis says, good evening, T and Quilters from Washington, D.C. I think I read that one. Nancy says, I read that one. <laughs> um, Carla Forter. Hi, Carla. She says, good evening, T and everyone from California. A matching table runner or a matching pillow from Melissa with the extra blocks. Linda DeVito says, hi, T and everyone. Welcome from Beverly Hills, Florida. Hi, Linda. Welcome back. Bessie says, I made some pumpkin bread tonight. Yummy. Yes. <laughs> so people are, 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 are doing things. So let me get the next row of blocks. That row is actually sold. That's number four. This is number five. <clears throat> I just need to take that one off, so I will take that off. I'm trying to make sure I verify. 
oh, it's just a different color. I'm like, what is this? This is not on the sheet. You know how you have, they tell you that the things you see on the screen are not what they appear in person. And that's exactly true with this print. It looks teal in the on the printed paper, but it's actually more green. It's like, I don't have this fabric on the chart. <laughs> I'm going to just sit that there for a second. Okay. Just want to press this a little bit. I'm just sewing on um, some pieces that's going to another project just to um, not have to break thread or go to another row because that's what I normally do is I'll start going to another row and then I get confused because I don't want to break my thread so I'm gonna put a I guess I should put a pin back in this so I'll easily know <laughs> the beginning of the row although it has no row number on it but I do know the number of the square here and I'm gonna utilize this here for a minute and then we'll get um, two rows sewed together and then we can put these I mean we'll get two rows sewed and then I'll put these two together and then put this on the last one I ended up changing a block and I didn't change it on my paper I don't know why I didn't change it on my paper but I did not Maybe I was supposed to change it as I was sewing. <laughs> ah. Cause one, two, three, four. And here is five. So it's not in my next row. I just did four. So I must have switched two pieces out. Don't know why. That was a long time ago when I did that. <laughs> like Sunday because <laughs> I haven't uh, sewed on this since Sunday I also started sewing on Bonnie Hunter's mystery and I do have steps one and two done I have step number three which came out yesterday I do have the pieces cut I just haven't sewed them together so this is five and eight and this is number one. Yes. So I have been still, I have a, a giant mess because I am still, quote unquote, putting up fabric, sorting through stuff. And then I come across some of those florals I was talking to you all about saying maybe I need to get rid of them. So I came across a bag of florals, a box that had florals in it that needed to be wrapped and or put up or gotten rid of. So what did I do? I, I stopped and got my die cutting system out and, and cut them into half and quarter square triangles. So that's what I am currently chain piecing on. No project yet for you guys but you'll see it as it starts to come together. But I'm just chain piecing some of the pieces here. Um, at least I got something cut that wasn't put up. It's now a kit. <laughs> it's not a whole lot of stuff just laying out with no use. <laughs> Hold on, let me go back. I keep, my, I keep forgetting to read some comments. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. I just start sewing and forget. <laughs> uh, Deborah says, I got my African fabrics and they are so beautiful. Well, thank you. I was really impressed with, uh, you know, when you first order from a company, you don't know what you're going to get. You're not even sure if you're even going to get an order. So I was really happy. So this time I just went back. I basically made the same order. I didn't get anything 
I got, I think the first time I got 16 fabrics, but I got double of one of those. And so that really made 17. And so this time I ordered 17 fabrics. So it was basically the same order, same price and everything. So I'm glad you got them and I'm glad you love them. Paula says, glad I didn't miss it tonight. Cooking tacos. Yes. <laughs> uh. Sue says, hello, T and friends. Been a long day trying to get hold of friends in Western Kentucky. By the grace of God, we are all well and accounted for. And that's that's a great thing. It I finally got to look at news because she had texted me or messaged me earlier in the day. And I hadn't even gotten to the news yet. So I didn't even know how bad stuff was. And I just got some of it when I came home from Deborah's house. I was uh, been so far behind knowing that I had to take all kinds of stuff to Deborah House. I hadn't even had some of the stuff gift wrapped. <laughs> and then here we go with power outages. And then I was trying to do a presentation on the different ways that we can make these design board things that we're using right here. And I have tried the hot glue, the fabric, uh, uh, tacky glue or fabric fusion glue. And I've tried duct tape. Hot glue takes too many, it takes too much product. And then, um, so hot glue takes too much product. This is the end. I'm trying to make sure I don't get them twisted here. And um, the fabric glue is stuck to your hands and on you and then it's a fabric glue, so you can't just wash it off. It takes like about five or six hand washings or even more because I looked up and had some still on my on my forearms. I'm like, how did you even get on my forearm? So I just prefer to use tape. Now, this is cheap Dollar Tree tape. I will never use it again. You need to use real duct tape if you're going to do it with tape. Five, eight, one, four, and three. I'm glad I only got five blocks in a row. <laughs> I really would be ripping. And I'm really ready for a nap because I've had a long night messing around with tornado warnings and stuff like that where I had to stop and go to the basement. And the only thing I can do in the basement is... Um, you know pull the fabrics i did sort stuff that i needed but that was about it i couldn't continue working on what i was doing that's my husband's space and then i put my my quilts are stored there too so okay i don't oh i just laying them up here Say, I don't even know what to do with this stuff. Now we're going to sew another one just to get this off. Because I don't want to get confused. And then we're going to sew these two rows together. Yes. I love AccuQuilt for these corners. I'm, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> On these triangles. I ain't got to trim a dog ear. And, uh. <laughs> um let me read another comment oh diane had to go out and come back next week i will make pumpkin cranberry bread cranberry orange bread cherry eggnog bread and banana nut bread gifts for friends and neighbors that's awesome that was uh kim <laughs> Nancy says, I'm having grilled chops and baked tater. Love the colors from Alveda. Thank you. I, I showed my three rolls to one of the girls that, well, I showed them to all the girls, but one of them said, <laughs> um, I like that sparkle fabric. I like some yardage of that. I said, girl, that came out of my stash. I don't have that. <laughs> she ordering African fabric. <laughs> 
<laughs> and she wants this brown with the sparkle. I don't know if you all have seen that, where this brown has some kind of sparkle to it. But I'm like, you can't get that. That's all gone. So now we're going to go ahead and sew these two rows together. And I'm going to pin it just because it's so long. Um, and uh, it is super duper long. And the blocks are pretty long too. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Seams are going in the opposite direction as they should be. I want to get my silk pins because they're smaller. Okay, end up just putting a few pins in here helps straighten it out so it's not so crooked. I'm not going to pin in between. I'm just pinning my intersections just so I don't have to keep pulling it all together. <clears throat> I keep getting the wrong pins. I got all these flower head pins that shouldn't even be in this pin cushion. But they are. I've taken them off other projects. And the pin cushion for the flower head pins are not in here. It's at Kevin's house, I think. I think I left it in my sewing case that I left at Kevin's house. And before you all ask, Kevin's with his family right now. So I don't think Kevin's going to join the live. Or if he does, it's going to be really late. He could be driving home. <laughs> um, but he was with his family today. Um, <laughs> June says, I made meatloaf, baked potatoes, and onions today. Leftovers for tomorrow. Y'all hungry. Y'all talking about food. <laughs> Oh, boy, T, I was working with Clue 3 today. My scene ripper was my friend today. That's Maxi Doodle. <laughs> yes. Got to pay attention to how those triangles got to be turned. Yep. So I just cut the pieces. I didn't go back and do that. Um, I'm one of them people that that's one of the reasons why. I don't like mysteries because when I work with one piece, I want to do everything to that one piece. I don't want to have to come back to it. <laughs> it's like, okay, I've been there, done that. I made half square triangles already. <laughs> and it was funny because I have extra half square triangles that I cut the first time. But I went ahead and cut more half square triangles too because I'm going to need extra two inch neutral half square triangles. So, yeah. So let me take this off because this is going to be a long piece. We don't want to be fishing for it later. And uh, sew this long row together. Oh, the next seam. I guess I could find where the next seam match up and pull it, huh? <laughs> Make sure everything lines up, hopefully. And then I'm going to sew this onto the top three rows, although I've already pressed those and these are not pressed, but that'll be okay. Oops. Uh, Sheila says, Miss T, are you keeping a list of the dyes cubes you're using to cut the Bonner Honey entrance? No, I'm not. Bec and if I did, I wouldn't publish it. Um, and that's because she doesn't want that type of stuff put out um because eventually it's going to be a a for purchase pattern or it's going to end up being in some book so no i won't be doing that i i am die cutting <laughs> i am die cutting so far every once in a while she'll come up with something that uh, you can't die cut. So I'm not sure if the whole uh, project I can die cut. She might come up with a die I don't have or a size I don't have. But for right now, I have die cut 
um, all of her first three clues. So basically, I'm just looking at her pattern for what are we needing to make and how many. I don't even print the patterns. Um, it's too many pages, and I don't want to keep up with all that paper. So I just go in there and see what I need to make and write it on a scrap piece of paper. <sighs> but I will not be publishing anything dealing with her patterns. My brother is here, says, hi, sis and everyone. You got my thumbs up. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Trying to see. I'm so far behind. We got five inches of snow on Friday. A lot melted today already. That's good. Can you use double-sided tape? I don't know what I'm using double-sided tape for. Oh. Oh for the uh, boards, the design boards. I, um, I don't know if double-sided tape will stick to batting for a good period of time. I don't know. You can try it. I didn't try that. I don't normally try to use uh, double-sided tape. I don't know. That's why I went to duct tape. But that's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. But I use most of my double-sided tape I use in uh, card making, so I've never put it on fabric. Okay, don't cut the thread, Tijuana. I almost cut the thread. We don't want to do that because we don't want to. We want to use our thread. <laughs> All right, so we've got this row done. It's not going to be pressed anywhere. This is four up here. So I'm going to add it to uh, rows. I covered it up because I put uh, my pieces over here. <laughs> Have it folded all nice and neat, and I'm putting pieces on top. Now, number one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got one and nine start the first row, and then one and nine ends the third row. So I got to figure out which way is the top. One, nine, four. Four must be this way. So this is my top. This is going on here. And again, we're going to pop some pins in here. And I'm only doing this part. And then I'll just go ahead and do the last three rows so you can see a good chunk of it. Well, you ain't going to see a whole good chunk of it anyway because we're in this little space here. But I wanted to uh, let you see the pattern as it's emerging anyway. And uh, I'll give you the pattern name in a bit again. Because people will ask me throughout the live, what am I sewing? So when I show it to you, we'll go through the pattern again. I am not selling the pattern. <laughs> and we'll just put one on the end to hold the edge. <clears throat> 
just so everything isn't just a big floppy mess. I don't even know what the width of this is. But it doesn't have a border on the pattern. I'm not sure if I'm putting a border on here yet or not to make it bigger. I don't even know what size. I'm just using as many of the blocks as I can. I could add another row, but then it would be really long going into a king size. And that's not what I'm looking for. I'm actually back stitching. I tried to remember to do it, but I didn't do it on the other one, but I did on the end. I didn't do it at the beginning, but at the end. Because just in case I don't um, put a... Just in case I don't put a border on here. I thought I had something to line up here, but I don't. In between this block. <laughs> My screen's gone again. Let me read another comment. <laughs> uh, French Seam is here. I must have missed her comment. Everything's not coming through to me, guys, for some reason. Um... Leisha Mo says, hi, Miss T and everyone. Greetings from Tampa. <laughs> people are saying, you know, prayers for people that, you know, survive. You know, it's a lot of devastation in uh, the five states areas that got hit. So it's a lot. And it looked horrific. Struggling with a new laptop tonight. That's Alicia. Joe Carmel says, how do mystery quilt alongs work? Uh, basically, um, the one thing to remember whenever you're doing a mystery of somebody's is that you're being a pattern tester. Once people are giving you f even free block of the months and things like that, it's free. So sometimes people will make patterns out of things and you are their pattern tester. So you could be getting something that may have a mistake in it. Most of them have been doing it for a while and you won't have find any mistakes in their patterns. But, you know, it's a possibility that you could. But basically a mystery quilt is just that. It's a mystery and you don't know what you're going to be sewing. They give you clues or the clues are actually parts. Like you might make half square triangles or you may make flying geese and they tell you how many of those that you're going to be making and uh, they tell you what color palette they recommend or if you're just doing a light medium and a dark you can pick your you pick your own fabrics of course and you can just go ahead and do that and they're telling you which fabrics to use for each part so that way your lights will be in the right position uh, you're not gonna mess it up by just randomly sewing any fabrics together so that's basically how it works. And then on a schedule, they will give you assignments throughout the whole mystery process. And you just complete those and at the end, you'll end up with a quilt or something. Sometimes you may not even have a quilt. It could be a table runner. It might be a quilted table runner. But, you know, most of the times it's a quilt, but sometimes you might be surprised. It might be something else. But most of the time it is a quilt. I remember one time we did it, ended up being a table runner. That was, and then the table runner could also be modified to be a tree skirt. So that was cool too. I think I, I can't remember. I think I made the table runner because I already had a tree skirt that I had made. So I got all this fabric being, it's getting weight. <laughs> so yeah, I'm having to help it along a little bit. This is the downside of having such a small space. <laughs> 
and I don't want it to go over my uh, counter edge. You all can't even see what I'm sewing now. <laughs> That's the downfall of a small space. <laughs> And again, I know we haven't pressed the rolls on these, but I'm going to let you see what it looks like. And I think I'm going to stop and read comments because this will be five rows of eight put together. I read comments till nine. That'll be 15 minutes of reading. Oops, I wanted the back stitch. And we're going to sew on a triangle. So let's go over the pattern again for those that are new coming in and then I'll start reading the chat comments and try to get caught up a little bit. I'm at 830. I'm over 10 minutes uh, behind in the chat comments. So the pattern that we're working on today is called Scooch Over 2 by Maple Island Quilts. And I picked this pattern because I did not want to chop up my African fabrics on this one. And I'm only using nine of the 16 prints that I had. Uh, and that's because I just used the leftover half square yardage that was already cut. I didn't go cut the ones that I was missing. So that's why I only have nine fabrics in here. Just utilizing what I had laying there. And I'm taking stuff that's part of my next project. <laughs> All right, so you're not going to be able to see much, I'm afraid. But I'm trying to just get to the middle of the quilt. So you can kind of see where the columns are forming, hopefully. I sewed them right. <laughs> so you kind of got white columns and uh, brown bands with the blocks kind of going in between. And that's why it's called scooch over. So, oops, and this is the best I can do here, guys. I'm sorry. So, and that's what I have so far. So, um, I don't have anywhere in here. It's so windy outside. I can't even use my deck for photos right now. It's been windy for a while. So I don't know how and when you're going to see a full photo of this quilt, but we'll work on it. When I get a good day, I'll go out there and get it. So this is what we're working on. And now I'm just going to toss that over there. Read some of these comments. Screensaver just popped on. So that means it's going to take me all the way back. <laughs> I'm going to have to go all the way back because it jumped me to the end. Let's see. And Jennifer says that she's been tickled to have the right dyes this time. Yeah, because I was surprised because she don't normally work on this scale. So I was surprised. And she says, it's partly because I bought a few smaller ones for the four-star generals. Yeah. Some of them are the same. Darcy says, we need more thumbs up. Make sure... You hit it. <laughs> Thank you, Darcy. And uh, I haven't refreshed my screen. So I don't even know how many people I have right now. Um, let's see. Thank you, Darlene. She's also asking people to hit the thumbs up, saying let's show some love for our Miss T. Um... And Diane says, I tell myself stuff all the time. Yes, I'm always talking to myself. Good night, Kim has left. They have that Gorilla duct tape now, and it's super strong. And that's exactly what I used. Uh, I made one uh, last night because, sorry, I hit the mic. I made one last night because I was trying to see which would I recommend for them to make theirs in our group. 
And I used Gorilla Tape. I bought Gorilla Tape and I bought original duct tape, but I decided to try a Gorilla Tape today. So, Cool Gal says, I think I have finally figured out AccuCool dies. I keep getting confused about what size to cut until I figure out that it gives you a finished and cut sizes, yes. And I, on my chart, I do have a chart of everything that I own AccuQuilt. And I try to put the finish size and the cut size of everything because it does make a difference. One pattern might tell you the cut size or something. And another pattern might tell you the finish size. So that way I've got both of them right there. Oh, Kevin did make it in here. Hey, Kevin. I'm missing comments. I'm not getting all the comments today, guys. Quote gal says, Kevin is in the house. Yes. Carissa says, I'm a little late to the party, but I'm here. Hello, lovelies. Hi, Carissa Renager. Um, <laughs> Carissa saying she even set a reminder to be here on time, but uh got going on her free motion quilting that's pretty cool well at least you busy girl i left my water <laughs> i need a drink and i left my water cup in my bedroom i was in there before i came in here oh tiffany's phone needed to be recharged okay thank you darlene saying those are gorgeous fabrics I'm trying to, I'm not too far. I'm trying to get caught up. Very pretty fabrics from um, Beverly Aikens. Nancy Gus says, love this. Diane says, OT, that's lovely. Thank you. The quilt is so beautiful. Love it. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to see if I can find some sort of African print or animal print maybe to quilt it with. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see what I got. I don't want to buy any designs right now. Remo is here saying good evening, Miss T and Quilters. Thumbs up. Hi, Remo. Welcome and thank you. I need to get me some peak African fabrics. You, uh, Ellen, go look at the fabrics on my website and see if any of those you want your stocking cut out of. And I will be adding some more um, to that as well because, like I said, I'm having another shipment coming in. But go look at those and see if any of those are fabrics that you want. Uh, Darlene Crosby says, quilt is beautiful, larger than I imagined it would be. Yeah, it's a nice size quilt. And I like the fact that I wasn't chopping up those African prints because even chopped up, they're still chopped. Even at this size of a chop, they're still chopped. But yes, I love that. <laughs> um, Helen... Tyler says, uh, beautiful greetings from South Dakota. Stay safe, everyone. Hello to you as well. Appreciate you popping in. <laughs> Just trying to get caught up on here. Thank you, Nancy, giving, saying it's 79 people for me when I, I'm not. My phone still says 12. <laughs> Susan T says, hi, Tian, everyone. Hope everyone is okay. Hey, Susan, and welcome to the chat. Jackie Holman says, where did you get the African fabric? I actually sell it myself. I'm a distributor for it. I have some on my website. I'm not sure exactly how much of it I got left. Um, so I got a, uh, I got people are get. I got some orders. And so I'm trying to um, handle those. So I haven't really been talking about it a whole lot. I just talked about it in one of my live videos and kind of sold it to people that watch the chat, but I haven't really even posted on Facebook or anywhere else that I actually sell fabrics. I haven't even made a separate video for the prints because I was trying to decide how much of it I wanted to keep for myself, but I think I am going to go ahead and let it go. Just probably cut a half yard or a yard for myself on the ones that I really, really like. So I think I uh, except for the eyes. I'm keeping the eyes. <laughs> the eyes uh, fabric I actually like and I want because I might want to use it one day as a border or something. And I only got three yards left of that. Mm. 
So it's on my website, T Quilts. Um, and I got more coming in. That's what I was saying. So I'm I got six seventeen prints coming in. Should be here next week sometime. Depending on, you know, shipping how it is nowadays. <laughs> hmm. Maria Quarterman came in. I didn't see her comment, but welcome also to the chat. Connie's here saying hello. Just got power back. Telephone pole snapped. Oh, my God. She says trees blown over. High winds. Semis blown over. I built a fire and fireplace and got the house warm. Hours later, power back on. So I'm glad you're safe. <laughs> That's the main thing. And it does take a while when you have such major catastrophes uh, with our utility. So, hey, Ben. Hey, Ben, he can't hear me. <laughs> I'm trying to get some water. <laughs> um, do you have any idea what pattern you are you going to use on this beautiful quilt? Um, I don't know what quilt she's talking about. Uh, I'm using Scooch Over 2 right now by Maple Island Quilt. I I've said that, but I'm not sure if she's talking about something else. Thank you, Avita. She's reminding people to thumbs up. Appreciate it. Um, Bonita says, the brown fabric really makes the African fabric pop. Yes, I put it up on black, and it was so much black in the backgrounds, and then one of my prints were actually black, that the black really didn't do anything for it, so I just decided to go into the brown area because I... I didn't want to add like another color. I, I, I wanted it to be black, <laughs> but the brown is actually working very well. So that's pretty cool. So thank you, Bonita. Um, and thank you, Helen. She's agreeing with Bonita. And Tiffany says, go get your water. We'll still be here. <laughs> Carissa says, I have two quilts that need to be quilted and bound. I have a week. I got a quilt that I, a customer is giving away on Christmas, so I need to do that. And it's just a baby quilt. But I have to, this is my uh, 97, I think she is, or 98. I can't remember. You're all sore. And so I always have to finish her quilts because her eyesight's not very good. So I do have to do that, but she says they're all coming to her house. So I got to the 24th <laughs> to get it done. But I'm hoping that I can get my long arm cleared. I'm just going to have to move the stuff off and get it done. I've been doing all kinds of things on the back of my long arm, but what I should be doing. <laughs> and everybody is saying, go get your water. We'll wait. Uh, cool guess says, I haven't used my cutter for years, and I don't have many dyes. That's a great idea to keep a list of the dyes that you have. Yeah, because otherwise you'll start buying duplicate dyes, and that's the thing. And I have a lot of duplicate dyes, and I, I was selling them at one point, and now I just keep them since I do classes and teaching people on scrap busting. So if I go somewhere, I can have people use my go dye system as well as use my studio system because you can still cut go dyes on the studio with an adapter. So I have... Right now, I currently have all four of their die cutting systems because they were giving away to go me's for free uh, with purchase. And then I have bought a go through the marketplace just so that I could have for some videos. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the go. I might end up selling it. I also have the go big. I like it because I don't have to rotate any handle to send it through. And then I love the studio because it has bigger dies and cuts more layers at a time if you're using the studio dies if you're using a go die then you're still stuck with six layer six pieces at a time so it just depends but i know when i first started i couldn't tell you what i had and then when they have a sale i might buy the same thing i already had so it just prevents me from uh doing that that's why i make a list t what's on that shirt i like it this is our original so so busy quilt gill shirts um uh, one of our late members made these. Her name was Karen. So this is our shirt. Rhonda Barlow is here. Hey, Rhonda. She says, hello, T and everyone. The quote is nice. Thank you. Get water. We are here to stay. Let me go get it because I am thirsty. <laughs> mm. I didn't know you had come in here. You would have heard me there. <laughs> 
I was trying to get my water cup. I left it. I went into the room 15 minutes early. Still left my cup. Okay. Thank you guys. Sorry about that. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> um <laughs> uh, Susan T goes more African fabrics yes please yep they're coming in I have I won't put them on my website until they come in and I'm ready to start cutting and distributing and this time I'm going to pre-cut instead of cutting after I've already uh, told you all about it because I wasn't sure what you all thought about them and so I did not pre-cut them this time I might try to do some jelly rolls I don't know if you all remember that uh, jelly roll rail fence quilt I have a video on it and I'm thinking about cutting some jelly rolls too where you will have I think you need nine duplicate strips and so I'm thinking about doing that as well so it's going to be interesting <laughs> uh, Cynthia Shea says hello from cold cold Chicago yes honey that's why I will not move there anything colder than where I'm at forget it <laughs> um where did you find the quilt pattern? Actually, you can find Maple Island quilts online. You just search it. Just search Scooch Over 2. It's going to be a gazillion quilt shops that sell her patterns. But Maple Island quilts is also online. You can purchase from them. Um, <laughs> a lot of you all telling me to go get that water. Thank you, Tiffany, for putting the website up there. Um... And then it's uh, when you get to my website, it's um, I, under the menu. You just pick products, and then that's everything that I sell is under there. But the fabrics should be first, I think. <laughs> I think fabrics are listed first. So thank you, Tiffany. I like to buy some African fabrics too. I'm sure it will sell out. The stuff that I already had that I pre-cut for sale, it did sell out, and it's like I got to go through now and take out. Uh, Cause I was being, I was being, I was hoarding fabric again. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through now and take out what I really want. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell the rest of the 16 that I got. Plus the 17 other ones that I have ordered in addition. So, uh, because I'm like, you can't keep everything. That's why we're in the situation that we're in now. And I haven't even advertised it. I haven't really told anybody, but. I was just in a regular chat where I did a haul and I didn't even label it that I was doing an African fabrics haul because I didn't even want it to be known that I had them because I, I guess, uh, I like for my regulars to get in on stuff first. And then I also, at that time, since it was my first time selling those fabrics, I also gave to my regulars, I gave 10% off of my website prices. So that was another reason that I did not put it out on Facebook. I wanted to make sure that you all got those fabrics at the discount originally. So there are a regular price now. There is no more sale. It was for, um, I think it was, was it Black Friday weekend? I can't remember. It's been a little while. But um, I did do that. So I just wanted to make sure. Uh, Shirley Hickman's here says, what will you do with the quilt you are making now? Um, I guess I will be keeping it because although I have a lot of African fabrics in my closet that I haven't been in in a couple years, <laughs> um, what I do with my quilts, I, I tend to keep most of my quilts unless I'm making them for someone for a gift and then that's totally different. But since I do lectures, I'm always rotating quilts in and out of my lectures. At some point, I do plan, maybe when this weather change and I can put a lot of tables out on my deck, I'm going to go through my quilts and sort quilts by the lectures. Uh, they're already kind of sorted by categories like scrap quilts, sampler quilts, patriotic quilts, you know, the seasonal type stuff. But I'm also going to sort and see if there's stuff that I no longer have in lectures and then I'm going to start selling that kind of stuff. 
it's just going to take a it's a big process and so since i had already been working with fabrics this year trying to you know redo my fabrics i didn't want to also pull out quilts and so that's currently where i'm at in the process i'm trying to uh, i need to start clearing out quilts i'm always putting new quilts into my lectures because what i find happens is a quilt guild will hire me to do a lecture and then i give them so much information that they'll have me come back and do that same lecture in a year or two and i say well i just did that that's okay we want to hear that one again because we didn't get all the tips you had so much information and so i go okay what I like to do is when I go back to a gill that second time, even with the same lecture, I add in new quilts. So I'm not always showing you the old quilts. Some quilts are staples to my pro, uh, my programs. And then others I'm showing you as an, another example of something. Then I try to change that type of stuff out. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So eventually people been asking me about quilts for sale. Um, I haven't organize them yet i do know in my head some quilts that i have in my storage but i've got to pull them out and i've got to reorganize everything and i'm going to need a nice spring day that's not windy to blow my quilts all over the yard and i tried waiting trying to do that in the late fall when it wasn't so hot outside but we had it's been windy here which is weird how windy it has been this year for the most part this has just been a windy year <laughs> I've tried going out in the mornings. I've tried going out in the evenings. It's been even difficult. If you all watching some of my uh, project videos, you can see where it's been difficult for me to even record. Stuff blow off. <laughs> I have to go back and put it up there. I have to go back and um, I have to tack the bottoms of the quilts down to the uh, base of my deck. It's weird. So thanks, Tiffany. She's also giving you all the Facebook group too. Um let's see sue says so i have to say now that i figured out how you use accuquilt link and place orders i may be in trouble that's funny <laughs> uh, don't get in trouble though thank you guys you all are so nice and connie says i remember the eye fabric was cool yeah so the eye fabric is definitely out because i'm going to be keeping that that one I actually bought for me, not thinking that anybody else would even like it. So I already knew that I wanted to do that. When you finally realize you're going to have to get your own water, tell Ben we said hi. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Shirley Hickman is saying hello to everyone. June says I have to I have one to get quilted. So the get busy and one gift to get this week. So she's trying to she's got one, too. Thank you, Tiffany. She's welcoming everybody in. You can tell she's back on that phone. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm still 10 minutes behind. No matter what I do, I talk too much. <laughs> mm -mm. And the only thing I don't like about African fabrics is like they measure it by how it's folded when it comes off the fabric production thing or however it's made. And so sometimes you get a full yard and sometimes you might get um, 34 inches or like fat quarters are slightly off. So I have to cut it on the folds that they give it to me. It doesn't come on both. And so I'm, I'm just cutting in the folds, so I have no control over what the actual size. So their cuts and measurements are approximate. So that's what you're kind of paying for. So it's a little bit different. Kevin says, things are okay. Um, Bonita Nan says, you're so good to miss T. <laughs> uh, Sheila says, there is an a app on the AccuCool site that you can install on your cell phone and tablet that will allow you to keep an inventory of which dyes and cubes you have purchased. And that is true. The only problem with that, and that's why I make my own list, is like you can't cross-reference. Um... So you can say that you got the value die. Let's just do that as an example because it comes with the go. But it doesn't tell you that when you're looking to see if you've got a four and a half inch square, you've got to remember that it's on the value die. Or if you want a two and a half inch square, that it's on the value die. Or if you want a two and a half inch half square triangle, it's on the value die. 
So what I do, there are different dies that have different shapes, like, like the cube. You can mark that you've got the cube, okay? So one of the shapes in the cube is a rectangle. So you've got the 8-inch cube, and you've got it marked on there that you've got the 8-inch cube. But in your head, you're in another pattern now. You're in a pattern you're working on, and it says um, cut a 2-by 4-and-a-half-inch uh, rectangle. Well, you've got to remember that it's in an 8-inch cube. What I do is I list that I have the 8-inch cube, and then I go and list each one of those dies that are in that cube individually so that I know if I'm working on a different pattern that I know that I have that size die. Before I even go look for dies, I look at my sheet to see how many of the dies I have for a project. And I'm going to talk about that in some videos. I'm actually, I've recorded a couple of AccuCool videos. But I haven't gotten to the specifics of that yet because I'm just doing more introductory stuff right now. But I'm going to talk about my list in detail and how it's set up. And my list might say that I have um, maybe 250 dies. But I don't have 250 dies. I got 250 different shapes that I can cut. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that because I think uh, it's important to know. I do you I, I like the app and I want to use the app. But the app wasn't helping me when I needed to know if I had a particular shape or size somewhere. Kevin says, drove a total of five hours today. Would anyone be willing to go down to my studio to cut that for Pluto? I need some mystery for me, please. <laughs> Everybody would like to go into your, um, your quilt cave, Kevin. Sandra's here. Hi, Sandra Agra. She says, just stunning tea. I love the brown. Well, thank you. And Ellen says she's drinking her ice water too, yes. And it's like I drink water so often that when I don't have it, I feel like I'm in trouble. <laughs> yes, we got Diane ripping. <laughs> and see, Tiffany said I would if I was close, Kevin. I, I love to cut. I like to cut fabric. Yes, she's doing. She's a... Tiffany stack them. I stack fabric and cut, but Tiffany stacks and cuts and goes really fast with her stuff. So she's a fast cutter. Um, Sandra's reminding people also to hit the thumbs up. Thank you. June says, T isn't offering either. Poor Kevin. Uh, if I had, like Kevin has a whole different style of fabrics. Uh, I can't go to Kevin's house and cut. Because I wasn't even at home myself today. Um, but yeah, so, but he, he's doing, you know, he does more repo. If I had, I mean, I got stuff cut he could have had. <laughs> because I already cut extras and I even cut even more extras on the next clue. So I already got extras of her stuff. Um, Maria says, it's good to know that you're selling African print fabric. I use them in my quilts. Yes. And I just haven't advertised it, like I said, because I'm in my, I was in my test phase trying to see if I still wanted to order from this company because I didn't even have any at first. And then it's right before Christmas. And so I wasn't trying to go really crazy with it, but people are liking it. So I went ahead and placed the next order, even though I didn't want to put anything else on my charge card, but I did. <laughs> T says she talks too much. <laughs> T, we wouldn't be here if we didn't like to listen to you talk. Now, that's pretty cool. Good to us. Yes. I am caught up with my two foot along, so I'm making a garment now that's Remo. That's pretty cool. And I, I didn't see where Eric's block came out today. I haven't, but I've been busy. Maybe I missed it. Nancy says we love you. Well, thank you. Susan T. says, appreciate all your knowledge and help with the AccuQuilt T. You are so welcome. And Ella says, that trust fabric on your whips has eyes too. That's the one that's out. <laughs> that fabric is mine. <laughs> I bought that for me thinking that I was going to be stuck with all of it. And that's the one that sold out. So, yeah, and they don't have any more. Uh, I even used the half yard piece in here, and I almost started to save it. But I'm like, girl, you got three yards. But the three yards that I got, they, I had put them aside already for me, and they're not coming back out. I'm going to pull the other fabrics out and sell some of those things. But the truss fabric is mine. That's not 
because I'll never get that again. And I really like that. I like eyes and people in fabrics. And that's just one of the things that I like. And so I'm going to be using every little scrap of that fabric somewhere. I love those eyes. And uh, Carissa says she hadn't seen anything from Eric today. Okay. I was just checking because I, I normally get notified and I hadn't got any notifications. So it is 9.13, guys. But I basically have shown you those uh, five rolls, as much of it as I can. So you kind of know what it's going to look like. And uh, again, I'm sorry. You know, my space is not conducive to showing the whole thing. And then I pick up the next row. Oh, this is number six. That's why. Okay, so this stuff is right. I'm thinking this is a different, was number four. This is right. So this is six. <laughs> this is nine. Yeah, but this is a quick quilt to make this scooch over. I did do the strip piecing, like the pattern. I normally don't do that. And that's why I did all of that before I came in last week. And if you do it because they're such big pieces, it goes pretty fast. Okay. And I like when I'm piecing on one quilt and making parts for another quilt. <laughs> and then after I finish um, this, I guess I'll be working on Bonnie Hunter's um, mystery pieces. I don't want to get strings in my cup. I'll work on um, that. I've got parts one and two, but I need to add those wings on to the pieces that we have so and it's that shouldn't take too long straight sewing And if I don't finish this here, which I'm okay with, <laughs> then I will uh, make sure that I definitely finish this off camera because it's, I like using this. I keep doing it on my mat. Maybe I just need to turn the mat over and have the, uh, have the hard side and not the soft. I was using this to press with just because this little tiny thing I can push in here. But then I don't like pressing on it now. That's nice. Ooh, I should have done that a long time ago. That's a nice hard surface now. <laughs> All right. Put this piece on. And I do like that even though it's queen size, I only got five blocks in a row. That's wonderful. <laughs> I don't have too many to get mixed up. Because I want those two pieces to go together, we're going to sew on something else. But yeah, I cut a whole kit out of that floral stuff. I spent two days pressing the fabric because what I do is I saturate stuff with starch, especially when I know I'm going to die cut it just to help stabilize it a little bit more. And then um, pressing. Pressing takes the longest part of this process when you gotta press the fabric. <laughs> but I have little die kits that I've been just cutting and setting up or pieces. Like even my scraps that I, I'm creating from uh, cutting Bonnie Hunter stuff I am cutting it into something as well. Even though I don't know, it's just, I'm just cutting additional squares and half square triangles. 
and quarter square triangles because that's what flying geese are a quarter square so i'll use them in a future project but at least they're not scraps i got to figure out what to do with Good night, Joe Carmel. <laughs> so this is my eyes. This is number two. It's the end. And number two. And five goes up on three. I'm always looking at my chart up here to make sure I'm putting them in the right order. But, yep. So... All I have to do is go to the, press the rows when I get to my big board. We're going to finish this thing up. Let's see. And Ellen, I've been watching some of your videos. I've just been watching on my television where I can't comment. I hate that you can't comment on the television. At least give, I can give the thumbs up, but I can't comment. So that one's done. Go to row number seven. Starts with block number seven. <laughs> or fabric number seven. <laughs> I'm just hoping when I get through, I don't get to the end and one of my blocks are turned the wrong way. <laughs> because like I said, I didn't lay these out. I just did it all at the desk. Go ahead and take this off and press this seam so it'll be ready when I get the row done. My last few quilts I have sewn the binding on by hand. It takes a lot longer, but it does look pretty. Yes, it does look pretty. I'll, I've been, uh, stuff that I'm not doing for shows or major lectures, it just depends on the lecture type, then I've been trying to do some on the machine recently. I normally, I'm a hand binder 100%. Okay. So this is one that's ready to be sewed. That's a row. We skip this one and put these two together. <laughs> Darlene Crosby says, I'm still here, hubby in Texas, and checking in with me. <laughs> That's awesome. I went trying to get a booster shot yesterday. I didn't even know that you had to make an appointment. I was like, there was nobody in there. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I didn't know we had to make an appointment. I thought everybody was doing walk-ins. So... His drive went good, I'm assuming, Darlene. Oh, they're talking about something else. T, is there a pattern for this African print quilt? It's called Scooch Over 2 by Maple Island Quilts. Just Google this. You're going to come up with all sites that are selling it as well as Maple Island Quilts also sells it. So that's the pattern. 
It's a fast quilt to make. I like that my blocks, my fabric is still pretty much um, visible. When you got fabrics like African fabrics, this will probably also be okay with like K-facet fabrics. But I think African prints are even much larger than K-facets. And so when the repeat happens, there isn't like the normal repeat. And so I just like that I keep most of my fabric because I just like the fabric. Now, these fabrics, um, Dee Dee Hansen showed me a photo of a quilt that she's working on. And she's got them cut up. And I'm not going to tell you the pattern because I want her to get her stuff before somebody else does it, get it done. Um, she is... Uh, cutting it into pieces and it still looks good and when she's cutting it into pieces I can't remember how many fabrics Dee Dee purchased I don't know if she purchased all of them or if she purchased two sets I don't know I can't remember but she it makes it look like she's got more fabrics than she's using when it's chopped up so it's pretty cool And that's why I haven't uh, taken the fabrics offline because I am going to go ahead and sell some of that stuff. But I got to, I got, I'm going to cut before I even start talking about African fabrics again. <laughs> Woo wee. I have got to cut. And then I want to, I'm going to upload the new photos as well when I finally get it cut. But I don't want to be overwhelmed, especially right before Christmas, because I'll be somebody trying to get stuff into the mail uh, right away. And I really, really, really don't like my orders mixed up with Christmas stuff. That's why I kind of went ahead and did the first order early and got it out the way during the Black Friday weekend. All right, so this is the next to the last row. We started with number seven. This is number eight that goes next to number six. So make sure we get this correct, as, as correct as can be. And I'm sure when I lay this whole thing out, I'm like, oh, you could have moved those two, but it's okay. <laughs> I only had nine fabrics. I don't normally make nine fabric quilts. So it will be 11 with my white and brown, I guess. But I don't normally do this type of a quilt. I'm used to using many fabrics. And that was another reason I ordered more prints. I'm like, I need more because it's not enough yet. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and sew this one. So we can take this off and sew these two rows together. So I don't get confused on what goes where. All right. My daughter has COVID now. She's vaccinated. The first two anyway. 101 fever all day. Oh my gosh. Her 20th birthday is the 14th, and I won't be able to see her. That's awful. So sorry about that. Yeah, I was trying to go in and get the uh, booster uh, for me and my husband. It's like, okay, we've got to make appointments. So I was trying to get it Tuesday, but my friend's telling me the whole process. And so I got to get, he's got to call in, I got to call in. And it's like, this is ridiculous. This is number nine. I'm losing my, that's an uh, AccuQuilt Go thing. <laughs> the little paper they put in there. So this is number six on top. I'm going to do these seams. Match these up. So prayers for your daughter, Carissa. And people are also saying they hope she feels better. A lot of people are. That's really sweet.
See, this is so long. They just get tangled up if I don't pin them to try to just control it somewhat. Don't have to pin it all up, but in some of it. T, what size are you making? The queen size? And I have, uh, I was telling, I cut all of my half yard of nine fat quarters and I've made 45 blocks. I could make another row, but it is just going to get super long. And I have a queen bed, so I won't be doing that. I'll have to see what size it is and see if maybe I might want to add a border or something. I don't know. The pattern does not have a border. But we'll see. All right, just some holding pins here. <laughs> um, and Carissa says, thank you, everyone. She was mad. She got it because she's vaccinated. She went to a wedding last weekend, drank from with her girlfriend's sister's cup. Guess who ended up with COVID? That's where she got it. Oh, my gosh. And the sister is super sick, too. Yep. Yep. That's the one thing about the vaccine. But I'm hoping, you know, prayers that she's going to make it through, staying positive on that part. But that's the whole reason why you want to get the vaccine. So if you do get it, hopefully it won't kill you. So That's nice. <laughs> Deborah says, I hope your daughter feels better soon. She doesn't live with me. So, okay. So. Okay, this one's got matching points. Whoops, I took that off. Oh, I did make sure. <laughs> like I took a pen out. Did I keep my match point? <laughs> and I did. I'm trying to read comments. So, I think you all are talking to each other. Y'all saying COVID almost killed me. Thank God I'm still here and I got it from family. Okay. All right. Let me get my next match point. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Jesuits. She's here. Welcome. Something else came in for a retreat today. It was awesome. <laughs> well, this week, not today. This week. I had two packages come in today. I actually um, placed an online order with Joann's. <laughs> I have to go. Um, I haven't really, like, investigated the fabric that I got. It was some interesting fabric. Um, and it was uh, not the $30 African fabric either. I'm like, I don't know where that come from. OK. 
Okay. And this is the last one here. I have made just about everybody in my family a quilt. But I have stopped making them quilts because the like I probably got new births and all of that. And every once in a while I make one for a baby. But um I find my family don't really appreciate my craft and they don't uh respect how much it costs. So I have since stopped making quilts for everybody in my family. Just because you have family don't mean you have to make quilts for them. I, I do charity quilts. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I know a lot of people ask me what are you doing with your quilts most of my quilts are for my lectures and then I need to go through now and start weaning out some because I'm running out of storage space and uh, I also have purchased larger containers to um, put my lecture quilts in so I need less containers so I'm going to be getting rid of some stuff. Okay, we just want to take this off. This is the two rows sewn. And this is the eyes fabric, which is number two. And we got, that's on the right. We got one more to put on here. So we'll just lay this right here. I know where the beginning of the row is. I won't toss it to the floor. <laughs> Some of my fabrics, I put pins in them at the top because they were directional. Like this brown fabric um, that's kind of like mountains. I forgot what it's called now. I didn't print that part. Did I print that part? Nope. <laughs> I just put a little icon of the picture and just printed that. Of the nine that I have. I don't even have all of them. I just, just the nine that I have. Okay, so let's press this. Then we'll be adding our last piece, number five in the middle here. And so number five goes on to here. Uh-oh, my screen went dark. I know I'm not reading now. <laughs> Um, let me go back. She's saying you're right. Carissa says the ones in making are for family, daughters, partners, and soon to be daughters in laws. Yeah. And Teresa says you're right. I think when I was talking about uh, family, not appreciating. And then I think, too, because I made everybody a quilt. Some people got two quilts, made them for their whole. And then when I would drop quilts off, say if it was a family of five, it was a mom, dad, and three kids, I would make five quilts. And I would not, I would hold them until I got everybody in that house quilt made. So I wouldn't have anybody harassing me about, when are you going to make me a quilt? When are you going to make me a quilt? Because somebody in their house had one. So I wait. And um, I would drop off five quilts at one time. And I'm like, you barely get a thank you out of them. It's like they wondering, like, what are they going to do with them? The kids appreciate them more than the parents do. So it was just weird. I just decided I'm not going to waste my time doing that. My family member want a quilt, they can ask me. Okay, so we've got to press all of these. Oh, 
Okay, so this one and then this one. This is the last row. Yippee, yippee. Yippee darn skippy. Let me move my screen around. Some people just aren't quote worthy. Right. <laughs> yep. You are right. And then like I told you all in the past, I've seen the dogs on them and stuff. And I can appreciate the dog wanting the quill. But not one that I put a whole lot of work and effort into. It's a difference when I make a dog quilt. And I even put a note in there because when I make people quilts, I make them a twin size quilt because they're individual quilts. And uh, I put a note in there like, use when you're traveling or something because i'm not trying to like remodel people houses use when you're traveling or if you're on the sofa watching television blah 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 like that you know to let them know you know how to use something like this it don't matter <laughs> i never leave home without my own quilt even when i went to kevin's house and he's a quilter I still took my own quilt. <laughs> I just like having something that I made with me when I, whenever I'm not at home. It makes me feel like I'm at home. Okay. So... I've been traveling with quilts so long, I don't know if I can go anywhere without my own quilt. I'll take clothes out to put the quilt in. <laughs> this is number four. That's the end. That's number four. And this one goes up here. Like this. It's a battle with these uh, pieces. <laughs> just try to go through and get everything untangled first they're all twisted around each other okay now we can just pin the intersections of the blocks <laughs> um just because you get vaccinated doesn't mean that you are not going to catch it yep um, Diane says, laughing out loud, T, you funny. Brenda Foley's here. She says, how y'all doing? Hey, Brenda. <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. Teresa says, that's some beautiful material. Yes, girl, I got it on my website. You too can have some, except for the eyes. <laughs> the eyes are gone. Um, and I have to see what orders I got to fill, because I got one in person today. And she also went looking at the website. So I'm going to hold her order, though, until I get the other ones in. So she, want, she, might, she might want more. So. And, uh, so, yeah. But I just didn't advertise my fabric yet, only to my people that's been in my chats. That's the only people that really knew I had African fabrics. And right now I'm not trying to be super busy before Christmas because I got to couple things I got to do. I was at Deborah Quilt's house and I told her I was going to go to Joanne's and look at uh, to see what type of uh, vinyl Joanne's had. You know, this girl gave me a whole container of vinyl to take home. I said, at least put your name on it. <laughs> she And she said she bought it because she was going to use it for straps on bags and things. And she said she hasn't even used it. And she said, you see the year on this? Because I'm trying to tell her, just give me a piece of, off of off of this and this and that one. And she's like, girl, take this whole thing. I'm like, I don't want to take all your supplies. She found one of the things in there had a date on it. 
It was 2004. She said, I haven't used it in two, since 2004. You can take this. If I need it, I know where it's at. <laughs> now, that was funny. <laughs> um, Joanne's, when placing an order to ship, they should tell you how many shipments you should expect. Now, I never, I don't, I didn't have that problem because every time I've ordered from Joanne's, just so happened that I got everything in one shipment. So, I don't know about that one. Uh, Francine says, order 10 different cuts of flannel. And I have received two shipments that included one piece in each. I guess eight more shipments are coming away now. That's weird because I ordered four or five different fabrics and all the mines came in one box every last one I'm even I even ordered two yards of vinyl it was in there with regular cottons I was surprised but it was all in there and the order is correct now I have not measured the yardage I'm assuming that that's correct uh, but the, all the items that I ordered was in one box I need to call quilting a day that's who I need to call I want to know, um, my order is correct, except that when I checked out and on my packing slip, it says that I get a free gift. I didn't get a free gift. I don't know what the free gift is. Where's the free gift? <laughs> I'd like to have it. <laughs> so I'm just going to call them and ask them what is the free gift. Because it was nothing extra in my box. Just want to know what I'm missing out on. <laughs> um, no power here with Tennessee. Wow. Hopefully you get it soon. Helen says, night all. Thanks. Good night. We got 15 more minutes live. I told my daughter a couple days ago that people would get tired of all my homemade stuff and she said no they won't because it's made with love yes <laughs> and Helen's um Ellen sounds like me I'd be working so much I do the 12 hour no once I eat my last meal I try to go at least 12 hours before my next meal and I look up and I'm on hour number 18 <laughs> And I say, girl, and even when I do that, I'm not necessarily like hungry right then, but I make myself eat something because it's like I could be throwing off other things in my body and not even knowing why I'm not able to think correctly or something. It's like, even though I'm not stressed about food, I just go and eat. But it's days I have have issues like that. And some days my husband will come up because he haven't even seen me or heard me in the kitchen. And he'll go, have you eaten anything? <laughs> That's the one thing I'm glad I don't have kids. I don't have to worry about providing meals on the clock like I used to. And what I do, I told you all, I do a lot of, uh, when I cook, I cook, uh, Two, three meals at one time. I cook three different meats if I'm grilling. I'll make two different pots of soup. And I probably already got two of them in the freezer. So that way, I'm not having to cook. The, the food's already there. And then my husband also, he uses the air fryer. So he'll put like a whole package of like uh, chicken drumlets or something or chicken thighs. He'll put that in the air fryer. So I'm not having to cook every day. I like that. And then we both just eat when we're ready to eat. So. I like that very much. Basically just microwave and stuff to, to reheat it. Kevin and I are having chicken vegetable soup. I already made it last week and put it in the freezer. 
It's in a bowl this time. It's in a freezer bowl. Since I knew we were going to have it as a meal instead of a serving. But yep. Right. So I've got um, one piece, no, two pieces that need to be made into one. So rows one through five and rows six through eight. So we're going to sew that together too. And this top will be done except for needing a final press. If I decide not to put a border. I'm one of those people, I do piece reduction and then I call myself done. <laughs> I have like probably 15 or more quilts that I'm trying to decide if I want to border on it or not. Okay. Once I get the insides uh, done, it's like I feel like I'm finished already. So, this is number six. I need to get this piece back out that I tossed way across the room. Okay, this is the top part because of the mountains, but I can make sure one, nine, four, eight, six. Yep, so this is the top. We don't wanna sew this. <laughs> and I am gonna turn it around backwards, I think. Put the short piece on top. This is really big now. Nah. <laughs> Ugh. I can't even get it. I may have to stand up. Ugh. Just to give it an extra place to hang here. It's all tangled up. Okay, so on that opposite end, I've got a two and a three. That's correct. Making sure I still grabbed it right. This goes right here. I can take these pins out now that I have for the top of my block. <laughs> Ugh, I lost my chat again um -da -da. Our Joann's is more crafts now than fabric. Not much good to pick from. I finally went into one with uh, Kevin. We were on a road trip. We went into a Joann's because I hadn't been in them in a while. And I didn't. we didn't even look at fabric, or I didn't. I don't know if Kevin did. We went over by the fabric, but we were mostly looking at notions. <laughs> Darlene says all fur babies are appreciative of the quilts. Yes. I, if I make one for them, it definitely won't be a, a Lemoyne star or something like that, you know. <laughs> um. Trying to see if I got anything in here. I have been type one. So y'all talking about health stuff. I'm not going to read that. I know y'all talk about each other. Talk about that. But I don't have any problems with that. I just don't think I should like read it. For people that's not in the chat. <laughs> so yeah. So we're going to go ahead and pin this stuff. And um get this last seam for right now. I have to see what the final measurements are on this to know if I want to uh, 
make it a bed quilt or am I just going to use it for lectures then it doesn't matter but we'll see but I'm wanting to increase the number of um, African style quilts that I have so this is like the start of that I've got oh let's see one two three of them that I can think of off the top of my head Every time I make an African quilt, like I have particular family members that like African themed stuff. And so I tend to give it to them. So I'm trying to now start making stuff for me. I can keep for myself so I can have a, uh, make, you know, I don't know if I want to do a lecture on it or something. I don't know. We'll see. But right now I'm just trying to, certain things I'm trying to m make more of because I don't have a lot of it in my stash all right this is heavy goodness gracious trying to see if i got any seams that need to match doesn't look like it it's like one time i have seams to match the other time i don't just the border i mean the block sections need to match that's it looks like and we're going to be done. We are making conversations while you talk. It's all good. At equals. Thanks, Tiffany. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to get this last scene done so I can say it's done since the video says finishing <laughs> the African quilt. I didn't think I was going to get this far because I tend to uh, read the chats a lot. So, And I do like that part of the live chat because you all sometimes ask, well, all the time ask great questions. And so if you're asking a question, you must really need to know. <laughs> so I try to answer those. And then that's when I get windy. Good night, Darcy. T, what size is that quilt? I don't know. It's queen size on the pattern. I don't know. I'm sewing right now. Woo, I'm covering everything up. I can't see the phone or anything. <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> It's big. I'd say it's like 80 something, 82 maybe by 92. Something like that. <laughs> That's the size. That's what it feels like. Last scene. Hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> okay, I didn't see a pen. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Like, looking for that pen, I don't want to run over, you know. Blend it into the fabric. Last section. Last little piece. Make sure this end lines up. All right. <sighs> so one more piece because I'm going to be in here after I leave you guys because I got to sew the Bonnie Hunter clue or start it anyway, even if I don't finish it. I don't know. I need to go clean that long arm off. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
Okay. So let's cut this. I'm going to put these scissors up. Put this up. Because we're done. Like, really done. We're done, done. <laughs> and there's no need in me showing it because you're not going to be able to see it anyway. Um, this is number six, which is the top. So, yeah, it's not a whole lot of it you can see, but it's just columns of white and brown. And it's done. It's a dunner. So that's all you can see. Ah! Called Scooch Over 2 by Maple Island Quilt. It's all on the floor. It didn't even go far. It's so heavy. It's just right here. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> I'll take it to the big board and press all those row seams that I did. Get everything done. So thank you. And this is super fast and easy to do. This is not, this one wasn't bad. It was more work trying to work on it in this small area while recording, okay? Because <laughs> I would have pressed my rolls all at my big board, all of that stuff I would have just taken and done somewhere else. So, appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tiffany, for doing your job. I appreciate that. I can't wait to see what you do quilting it. Yeah, because I'm going to look and see if I've got anything that's African themed in quilting. And if I do, I'm just going to make it work. If not, I'm going to be looking for animals. If I have to, I don't want to do animals. But if I have to, then that's what I'll do. But I want something that's African themed. Thank you, guys. I'm getting a lot of beautiful quilt, gorgeous, all of that. And Lynette says, yay, complete, yes. <laughs> Something done in, in a couple of videos. And I, I could have done this all before I came back. But I like to try to finish stuff so you can see it done on the video and not me just saying it's finished in a completion video. So I do like to see um, stuff. I want you all to see stuff getting done here. I'm hoping that's the case. Otherwise, it'll get the regular in so they're still talking about other stuff <laughs> um thank you everybody a lot of you all t quilts i am a big zebra nut just love me some of that fabrics <laughs> totally fantabulous from bonita thank you gorgeous from betsy betsy you still here you normally in bed that's pretty cool my brother's still here. He should be saying good night. Good night, everyone. Thumbs up before you go. Thank you, sir. It is uh ten oh one. So he's doing the thumbs up. Charlotte says, I just ordered one and two from Amazon. I'll order fabric from you once I get the pattern. Oh, she just ordered scooched over one and two. That's from Charlotte. Okay, that's pretty cool. Diane says, Good night, everyone. Stay safe and God bless. So people are signing off. Francine says, congrats. Well, thank you. And a lot of people are saying it's pretty gorgeous and all of that. So I appreciate you guys. I just felt like this, I, I like I told you all, we, uh, when Kevin and I went on that Iowa shop hop, I was trying not to buy excessive fabrics. And then, because I wasn't trying to buy any fabrics. And then I forgot that we were visiting designers that were women designers, women fabric manufacturers. And it's like, I have to support these women that are in, getting into this industry. You just have to. Um, it's a, a female dominated um, craft and most of the designing is done by men. So people like Tula Pink and Franz are people that, you know, we need to support what they're doing when you're in a jungle with the men, you know. So um, and then this company is also their own. It's like they're a fabric manufacturing company as well. So that was what was different about them. Whereas Tula is under another company. They're under their own. So that was what was unique about Franz. So I'm just trying to use some of the stuff that I've been buying. Especially on the Iowa Shop Hop. I think this is like thing number four or five that I've used. Uh, pattern wise or fabric wise from that Iowa Shop Hop. So I'm working on trying to use some of the stuff. 
that I'm getting in here and getting it out. And now I've just got African fabric in and I'm actually using some of that African fabric. So it's in a project. So I feel good about that when you're spending money on something and then you kind of use it immediately instead of putting it on a shelf and waiting to use it, you know, 20 years later. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm the queen of having fabrics that are too pretty. I don't want to cut them. And then too pretty that I don't want to give it in a quilt that I'm going to give away. <laughs> I'm, I'm the queen of that. So uh, thank you guys for your support. Um, Melissa says, it's been a good show. I'm going to rewatch the beginning. Well, thank you. Um, Darlene's also reminding people, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. She's giving you lots of thumbs up as a reminder. Vanita's saying good night, everybody. And it's an hour later for her, too. So please take a photo of the entire quilt and post. I will when I can get out to my deck. I have not been able to get out there. Every time I try, my quilts are blowing back over the deck. <laughs> And I have them up with, uh, with uh, uh, push pins. I had to get the right word. Uh, push pins. And I have about five push pins and, you know, the bed size qu uh, quilts or tops. And they're just, the bottom edges are flying up. Then I try to go down there and I try to tack the bottom edges. And it's just too much. <laughs> it's, it's too much. And so I say, we just need to wait for a better day. So I will try. But if you got the patterns, that's that. I'm going to, I'll do what I can on the photo. Tiffany is saying good night. Good night, Tiffany. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help here tonight. And also tell Scott I said hi as well. She says she'll see y'all tomorrow on her live. Um, Darlene said good night, friends. Stay safe and have a blessed week. Uh, Carissa says she can't wait to see a big photo of the whole thing. Me too. I want to see it myself. Um, T spreading the sister love. Yes. Bonita says right there with you, Miss T. Yep. The, then we are princesses and prince. <laughs> yes. As far as I, this was talking about the fabric, I think the fabric manufacturers. And then Lynette says, I bought Tula's ruler, rotary cutter. Just had to have it. Got it larger than I got it larger than I expected. It's an ergo rotary cutter. It's now my sister's Christmas present. She's happy. Now that's pretty cool. So yes. So just have to support some of the people. And then um, Tula's been in. Tula's been working. She came in being a hard worker in this industry. So um, that I can give her kudos for. She was not playing. She came. She wasn't even a quilter. She came from the art industry, art background. And that's why her designs are so unique and um, different because she she wasn't even thinking about quilts and then started applying it to quilting. So, well, we're going to go ahead and end here, guys. I appreciate you all. I will see you all Wednesday. At the current time, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I might even change my mind and do a haul on Wednesday. We don't know, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, talk to you all later. You all stay blessed. Be safe. And quilt out, everybody. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> she says she loves the quilt. And Connie's saying goodnight to all. So that's it, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>